and balls. Hi. Guy over there looks like he wants a picture. Uh, the guy's over here. Well, you just told me that now, so I was really given bad directions. Hi. I was planning on staying home, not wearing pants. Really? I was planning on staying home, not wearing pants, and. Sorry, the hell tied me. Welcome to Pop Pop Video. I'm Janet Art, and this is my sidekick, Mitty, and we've come up with Pop Up Video. Well, actually, she did. You're gonna find out stuff about season two every single episode that you didn't even think you wanted to know. Pop Up Video. Oh! Is it just me, or do none of these lids fit? Hi, yeah, is there a latte for Yan? I actually think I have taken somebody else's coffee and on my way out the door, I could hear the clerk say, uh, I just set your grande thing right there on the counter and that girl right there just took it. And then I just made a run for it. What's the charity for? It's for ocean garbage. What? The removal of general ocean garbage. It's the fifth annual Water Waste Initiative Gala, raising funds to pause and reverse the pollution of the Pacific Garbage Patch. I'm not doing it. Oh, would you look at this? Cynthia's law firm is sponsoring. You are so right, Kale. This is a very important charity. I will absolutely be there at the Ocean Garbage Gala because water and straw should never mix. I do carry a metal straw in my purse. I have changed. I've moved forward. I am taken aback. My abrupt change of heart has nothing to do with wanting Cynthia to love me and everything to do with hating ocean garbage. Plus, I can PVR hoarders. And you will wear pants tonight. Obviously. It does seem obvious, doesn't it? But unless I say it to your face and get a verbal response from your face, I will wonder all day. Charlie, which one of these do you like better? Graham, you are too cute. You know what? The purple one makes you look drop dead gorge. That's what I'm going for. Thank you. What a wonderful event, and for such a great cause. Absolutely. Are these centerpieces old tires? Make it garbage, make it fashion. Kind of makes you wonder if you're for or against garbage at this point, right? I'm against it. Well, you look great tonight, Nigel, as always. Oh, Cynthia, you don't have to suck up just because I'm your firm's biggest client. <laughs> don't I? Well, maybe a little bit. I'm sure you already know this, but I'm a huge, massive Jan Arden fan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've seen her in concert like 11 times. That's a lot of times. I even cut my hair like hers back in 97. In a bob? That's right. With the bangs. Yes. I was mistaken for her at Lilith Fair. Best day of my whole life. Wow, must be awesome being Jan's girlfriend. Oh, we're not together anymore. Hmm. Speaking of garbage, the ocean needs less of it, am I right? Were we speaking of garbage? Ken and Barbie. How is all you can eat barbecue with Kenny G worth $1,700? How do you even play saxophone with greasy meat fingers? The Reynolds wrap, full body nude mud wraps with Ryan Reynolds. I'm betting 600. And it is totally worth it. Really? I once did give myself away for a, a silent auction. I may have bid on it, but I don't really want to talk about it. Are you bidding on yourself? Yes, I am bidding on myself, Kale, because you'd rather get dirty with Deadpool. It sounds even better when you say it like that. I'm bidding 2,500. Jan, I want to introduce you to my new client. Nia Taylor, she's been dying to meet you. You're here. You were, like, legit inspiring to me. How sweet. Quick question. Uh, why did you retire? Because I was all like, what? No! <laughs> why, though? Look at Keisha Shante. I mean, she's got a sparkly dress on, but aside from that, she's glowing anyway. She's so talented. I don't want to say a lot about her because I'm seething in jealousy for her youthfulness, how beautiful she is, what a great singer she is. She's athletic. She's an excellent actor. I don't even know why I'm giving her airtime right now, quite frankly. Represent me, I quit right then and there. How oh, impulsive. So far, no regrets. In the future, when you're retelling that story, you might want to let people know that it's going to be long story long. Ah. Can't wait to show Jan my tattoo. Who is that? It's Jan. Oh, is it? Yes, it just looks a little off. I got a tattoo in a relationship like 20 some odd years ago. And just a note, if you're gonna like planning on gaining or losing any weight near your hip area, it's just gonna stretch and retract into something that looks just like a fly. Charlie, Sam, Frankie, can you come here, please? Everything okay, Graham? More than okay. I had some of my favorite rings turned into jewelry for you. I'm giving away stuff now before I die. I'm, I'm looking at Deborah Grover and 
you know, her character Nora is making some of her jewelry into, you know, baubles for her grandchildren. I love this. Are you sure you want to give it away? Oh, I love the idea of you enjoying them now. Well, no point in letting old rings sit in a box until I die. <laughs> <clears throat> Maxie, did you say something? <clears throat> no, I was just clearing my throat. I think it's good to plan for your funeral. A lot of people don't want to do their wills because they think, if I do my will, I'm going to die, not me. I want to choose what song they'll play at my funeral. Oh. Did you know that you can get your ashes pressed into a vinyl record? Oh, score one for cremation. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite song? I have two, but I can't decide between them. Fleetwood Max, Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow, and Outcast, Hey Ya. Well, one is bittersweet and has a really great message about moving forward. And but the other one would encourage my mourners to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Okay, this is warming up. And now our next act is Jan Arden. <sighs> That's my best friend. Go, best friend! Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you very much. In this scene, it's my actual real guitar player, Russ Broom, playing with me. And he actually wrote Cherry Popsicle with me many, many years ago. I think it was 20 some odd years ago that we wrote that song. And I also, a little bit of trivia, Russ, the guy right there with the, the blonde hair playing that guitar, he's, he does all the music for the Jan Show. That's right. This is for you. Oh, yes, yes. I loved you. This woman's inability to read social cues is beyond. Sharon Taylor, who plays my ex-girlfriend Cynthia, was a very good sport during this scene. But she is like the fittest human being I've ever seen in my life. All the booze was real at this function. The extras were plastered. We had to carry a couple people out of the building. Okay, that might not be true. I sat on her lap on this scene, and I'm like, should I put my entire weight on you? And she's like, yes, go for it. And I was very nervous about that. But it was like sitting on a plank. And now I am deceased. When I came in to shoot the scene, they're like, Jan, we mopped this floor. And I'm not exaggerating here, literally a hundred times, which I don't believe to be true. I bet you they did it twice with a freaking dirty mop. You know what I mean? I have never lied on a bathroom floor in my life. I want to say that at my drunkest, in my most lowest moments in my life as an adult person. Anyway, I lied on the floor. I was a very good sport. I asked you to stop. Why wouldn't you stop? Because sometimes you can be really hard to read. Like right now, for instance, I can't tell if you're upset or you're hungry or... Hi. Hey, here you go. It's the centerpiece from the charity dinner. Here's the makeup scene. Okay. See this tire? So a decorative tire. Nothing says, please forgive me, me like a decorative so tire. If you don't want it, chuck it in the ocean. Oh, Jesus. I am so sorry about today. I was trying to do something nice, and I know that the lap dance went too far. Well, thank you. I like that you go big, but that was too big. I will try and be small. Look at Sharon's arms. See what I'm saying? Oh, Who's got arms like that? They're feminine, but yet they could kill you. I'm just fighting with my duvet cover is one of the worst things about being single. Definitely. I once got caught in my own duvet cover and I was mm. stuck in there for a good part of the afternoon. You fell asleep? I did. Mm. You want some help? <laughs> <laughs> 